So I'm leaving Dallas and going to Arizona. Fluid Frontier, so you know you gotta get your baggage together. It seemed like they flew low the whole time to Arizona. I could see, like, the lights the whole time, bro. It was pretty, though. But I went to sleep. And I was walking up to somebody offering me a drink. I took it, thankfully. And then, when I got to my friend's Queen of Queens, go follow her. She cooked us breakfast. And then we got up and went to the mall. We needed outfits for her celebration of buying a new home like congratulations so we all just woke up and went we didn't get too beautiful but we're beautiful regardless we came up in this car it is like an eighteen thousand dollar car it's considered a motorcycle but you don't need a motorcycle license to have it it's chargeable does not take gas only fits one person you going to get this? You know, I kind of would, but my granny has um one of the small, smart cars, two-seaters, and it's just, like, so shaky and stuff. I don't think it's for me. You can feel everything and, like, hear everything. If I was, like, in Florida or something, maybe, or if it had a little drop top, I have no clue. But, like, Raina was saying, it's so small and claustrophobic. I wouldn't, like, how do I know what lane to stay in? <laughs> So anyways, this is the dress I tried on and I really, really liked. So I got it. Wait for later to see it. And then the lady still needed to shop. So I was like, I got to get out of here. Meet me downstairs. So I went and got me some fresh squeezed juice. It was so good. So good. It was like berry lemonade and pomegranate hibiscus. So I also needed some shoes. So I grabbed some shoes. And then we went to Walmart. I never seen a map before. So now we're at the housewarming party for Queen of Kings and her family. Go follow her on YouTube and other social media. K W E E N O L K I N G S. It might be a period or something, but she got a lot of followers, so you will definitely she'll come up immediately probably. So in her house she has some organic lemons. I've never seen any lemons this big or with this shape but i guess it's because they're like organic i don't know but we had lemonade and it was good so finally we got outside we were all riding in the car jamming and looking beautiful give it some time you're gonna see us all so me i was feeling myself you know this is my first low cut dress with the new boobies i'm like period 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 Anyways, we finally make it. We decided to go to Steak 44. I was the planner of the dinner. Um, this restaurant was very freaking expensive, but it was very worth it. Food was good. Service was good. Everything good. So come on, let's go in. So when you walk in, it has beautiful um, pictures, I guess, and stuff. And I like that you walk in and you can see like the whole kitchen. That was a great experience for me. You could see the kitchen. You could see, you know, what's going on. Nice table. It's kind of private, but, you know, the door stays open. You can look over and see the kitchen from here. Here's the menu. Prices weren't too bad, but the fact that the steak, like, the lowest steak was, like, $50. You know you're about to spend some money. So I was just showing y'all views. Back to me. I love showing y'all me. Because this is my YouTube and social media. But I wanted y'all to see this dress. Like, it was just giving what it needed to give. And I was just so, so happy about it. The colors were supposed to be silver. They ended up getting changed to red. So, two of us had, like, silver and gray. And three had on red. But you will see in the snippets. Alrighty then. So, as I finish doing what I needed to do, I wanted to show y'all this. Like, you could choose. Hey, I want that one right there. So anyways, got back to the table. I think I got a little stuffy nose out there in Arizona because Queen of Kings kept her house on zero degrees. But anyways, I came back to see what I wanted to eat, see what I wanted to drink. They had a great drink menu. 
But as I sat down, they told me we're having shots of tequila, so I just went with it. Even though I am a whiskey girl. Um, but the shots were about like 20-something bucks, but they were humongous. Okay, they were humongous, so it wasn't too bad. I always like flavorful steaks, so I ended up going with the ribeye bone in, and it was very much flavorful. But listen to the shot time. Cheers, cheers. 2023, good vibes, yes. money, prosperity, longevity. Yes. Y'all, good stuff. Congratulations, everybody. Yes. Woo. Yeah. Where's this ought to be? Okay. I said it's an automatic. Really? That's a large right. shot. Well, girl, yours is too long. I mean, mine was that big too. Did you drink it? Oh, huh? I drank it off. <laughs> Period. Bring out Period. the fire, baby. Listen, mine went out really smooth. Really smooth. Um, Woo! Dying. Right. Again, two strong, beautiful, black, strong women that's out here doing a goddamn thing. Carry on. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody face after the shot. So now we're trying to plan what we're going to do tonight. Look at our beautiful purses and look at this amazing food. I started off with a salad and some oysters. One of these oysters I had never had before. And it was not my cup of tea. It was this one. This one had a different taste and texture than normal. And I was not feeling it. Um, I don't think I ever had that one before. And I honestly, I don't think. I had the other one either, but the other one was better. So I wanted to get my friend's um, opinion and if she was okay with it, you know. She tried it. She was like, yummy, yummy. Then I tried the next one, and this one was way better. It tasted like I know an oyster taste or whatever. Um, good texture. A little bit of hot sauce. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Now it's time to eat for real. There goes my steak. I did it medium rare. I think I need to change to medium or something because my stomach be hurting lately. I'm getting too old to eat any kind of way. I don't know. I don't know. But it was good as it was. And everybody's food was delicious. That's what I loved about here. Better than steak. Um, STK, I mean. They served us our veggies. And now it was go time. Now, this is Grow With V. Go follow her on social media. I think it's Grow With underscore V. But she's also pretty um, known on social media. So, you should be able to find her easily. Okay. So, she didn't know that I was taking a video. She's like, she's done. She's over it. <laughs> but anyways, look at this steak. It was so delicioso. I was so happy. And when I say it was hot, you know, I still tried to look cute and ate it, even though it was hot. But it, it, it chewed and melted like butter. So look at that. A lot of red. Too much red for me, I think. But I still ate it. Next time we're going with medium, or medium plus, or medium, I don't know. We'll see. So they gave us cookies at the end. They were really good and crunchy. And bro, look at this bill. We did that thing, and then we took some pictures by the knives. Look at this beautiful knife princess. But anyway, so we just all took our pictures for our social media, whatever we're going to get use these for. And we had a blast taking pictures. Everybody was always walking by like, y'all are so beautiful. And yes, we were. I don't know where the group picture is, but you saw us all with the shots. Then we went out to somewhere else i forgot where but by this time i've had a, um a lot of fun so i was thirsty and now i'm like i'm over this but everybody wanted to continue to go out so this is where we ended up 
And so that was the night. It was amazing. So then I cooked spaghetti the next day for all the kiddos and whoever wanted to eat it. They loved it. And now I'm back in Chicago, ready to get back to work and school. But I needed some time to relax, you know, being back. So I went to Edson's Hotel. It's not that great, but the steam room is what I needed. So I relaxed and then slept.